Welcome to Celebrating Act Two, where two old guys are sitting in the balcony or in the loge, or maybe we're sitting in a parking lot in a car, okay, uh, going to get some popcorn, but we're watching the Vintage Film Channel. The Vintage Film Channel, I got to tell you, Art, they are vintage. Uh, now, you and I kind of, um, we browse the Vintage Film Channel, we see you know, an old movie, we see an old TV show, it's something we like, we bring it on, yeah. and we talk about it, we review it every week. This week, folks, we passed by a documentary. I said, let's do documentaries. Grace has a lot of documentaries on there. Documentaries are a great art form. So we picked Singapore, My Singapore. Right. It's the most watched video on Vintage Film Channel. And we can't figure out why. <laughs> and by the way, we still can't figure out why, but we're going to talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> um, it, it, it's an amazing feat to be such a common, it's not boring, it's not bad. It's, a, it's an interesting documentary from the 1960s about Singapore. But it's an amazing feat to be so popular. And mm. I can't figure it out. Maybe it's because everybody in Singapore watches. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I don't know. It's um, Art, what was your opinion about the content of this documentary? So um, it's kind of actually, it's kind of interesting. I probably, other than the fact that it was, it had like a quarter of a million views, a quarter of a million views for a United Nations uh, sponsored documentary about one of the smallest countries in the world. I think it's like only yeah. like a couple of hundred. Well, let me take a look here. Uh, it's uh, 682 square miles. If, if some of the sand hasn't eroded from the beach uh, recently, it's an island nation. And uh, I just could figure it's interesting. And it was talking about how they're expanding and, and what they're trying to do. So from that standpoint, I mean, there was interest there, not something I would normally watch, but like so many things that you and I watch, uh, we'll go to like, uh, we went to uh, My Little Margie and we've got uh, Richard Boone coming up and, yep. and and we watch a lot of things that have interesting character actors that, because you and I have a general interest in, in movies just in our careers. Sure. And, um, but like so well, many I, I, movies. I think, yeah, Art, I, I think we're like most people, um, you know, we have favorite actors and sure. actresses and favorite directors. And, and if you, if, you know, you're, you're, who's the guy who does the Bourne Legacies uh, movies? Uh, that Jay, you uh, uh, Jason Bourne. Uh, yeah, uh, so uh, you see. Matt, uh, Matt Damon. Matt Damon. Matt Damon. You see Matt Damon, you'll go watch his film. Right. Because absolutely. you like Matt Damon as an actor. And, and that's common, but a documentary is a different beast to me. Documentary captures. Um, some information and delivers something that you would want to go see in person. And I got to tell you, even in the 1960s, I don't think I wanted to go to Malaysia <laughs> or pardon me, Singapore. Singapore. See, I, I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. Wait, is that new? <laughs> so, so, so like so many things that, so we obviously went to it because uh, we, we had went to search on most popular and this was number one by a wide margin. And yeah. so it piqued our interest. Um, uh, for instance, uh, I wouldn't have uh, known had you asked me, I thought it was, it was part of Malaysia. It's not, it's its own independent uh, country. It has ties to the United States um, militarily and, uh, and a lot of other ways. It's a financial center. And I think I may have known that, but not really. Uh, and, and that its uh, background is that most of the people who live there are Chinese, of Chinese background. And then right. there are Malaysians and there are Indians, I assume, from India because uh, it was uh, controlled by the United Kingdom for a long period of time. As opposed to Navajos and Cherokees. Yeah. As opposed to, although I don't know because I didn't do enough research. Uh, <laughs> But uh, the, so it's got a lot of interesting things about why does this little spit yeah. of, of, of dust in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, okay, uh, have a whole documentary done about it? Well, I guess it's because you like your taxpayer dollars going to the UN 
I know how what a big proponent of the UN you are, and they love to spend money on doing stuff. It was actually I have a, I have a, 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 a granddaughter who is in urban planning, and so I I've had some interest in urban planning in general. We grew up in New York, so Robert Moses. I mean, yeah, he he sure. basically designed the whole state, uh, and and here are. Uh, uh, government officials and consultants actually talking about, I guess, a lot of the challenges that they have, and they've got to tear if their population going to grow and have places to, to to live, they're going to have to get rid of all the small little huts and things they have there yeah. and build uh, uh, tall buildings. So okay, you but know, this is all uh, right. This 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 documentary is from what nineteen sixty maybe 60, late 60 or seventy. I mean, yeah. today even today they only have a, a little. Over five and a half million people uh, who live there. Yeah, uh, so. I didn't. I didn't find any particular historical value to it. Although mm -hmm. I don't know the story of, you know, Singapore. Maybe there is, and I didn't find any cultural uh, fascinations here. Or, but you know, it's it's not a bad documentary if you're browsing and you want something right. to watch. It's kind of interesting. And there's, no, there's no politics in it. Basically, it's about urban planning and and things right. like that. There's no uh, politics because it was made by the UN. UN, <laughs> the UN spends money on making everybody look good. There well, they, are, it's, they, it's the everybody's a winner attitude. Yeah, yeah. Uh, as are we. Well, they do a yeah. documentary about Silver Running Act too. I guess uh, the, the, the people will say that about us. <laughs> oh no, we're gonna we're gonna talk about all the but, stars. Uh, any, any, anyway, uh, this is not this is not a um, a barn burner. Uh, we're not recommending that you uh, set up the the backyard with s'mores and uh, uh, make it as the, the summer thing by the pool that you're going to invite all your friends over to watch. But it's it's just another illustration of the wide variety of things that Vintage Film Channel, both on its YouTube channel and VintageFilmChannel.com, have to offer. And in this yeah. particular case, I, and we were actually speculating about this, uh, is that we know that a lot of Brits watch uh, uh, the Vintage Film Channel uh, because of some background that we, we spoke to uh, uh, Gracie about. And uh, we suspect that there's a lot of interest as well in expats who are interested in uh, Singapore and, uh, and uh, find it. Because actually, it, most people watch this thing beginning to end. Uh, we asked her for the, the records on them, <laughs> watch the whole thing. So yeah. there have to be people who, like you say, maybe every Singaporean is required once a year to sign up for a new channel uh, <laughs> under a new name and watch this in grade school. Yeah. And after a period well, listen, of time. If, if you watch it, give us a, a reaction on this video. Okay. As not not, you, not you. He's not talking to me, guys. He's talking to all of you out there. Talking to you, yeah, you, the viewer. Right. Let us know why you watched it, or you know, other than because we told you about it. Right. We'll we'll see you soon, and next time I promise we'll review something interesting. Well, well this was interesting. Okay, if you were yeah, one, of, if okay. you were one of, if you were one of the two hundred forty-five thousand people who watched it, but I mean, yeah. to, to the general audience, not so much. <laughs> For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.